Welcome back to the Tiny Camper Gang channel, everybody. On this episode, we're going to Sedona. Over there. Never mind. We're not going to Sedona, and I'll tell you why. I didn't get any footage of it, but last night we had an emergency. As in, um, I looked in my rear mirror and I saw a whole bunch of smoke coming out of the side of the camper. But it was driving fine. Like, I didn't feel like there was any vibration or anything like that. So I pulled over, I checked it out, and I noticed the bearing was smoking. Mm -hmm. So when I redid the bearings, there was one of the bearings that didn't take the grease that well. Well, that's the one that gave us the issue. Um, I didn't know how bad it was, but there was a campground about two miles down the road. So we were able to pull it in there, uh, well, limp it in there at like three miles an hour off the highway. Um, when we got here, I couldn't touch it because it was way too hot. So I waited till the next morning. Here we are next morning. And now we are faced with this. I decided to jack it up and just see how bad it was, kind of wiggle the tire. <laughs> but when I went to wiggle the tire, it completely came off. So this is what we're left with right here. Um, nothing. This, I didn't touch anything. I didn't unbolt anything. This is all snapped up. I mean, you're talking about loose, no more brakes. I mean, just completely trashed all the springs um these are the bearings right here or what's left of them no more bearings so now we are in emergency repair mode and this is the castle nut yeah it's not hand tight anymore it's uh very tight now uh yeah so the plan is right now is to get this to a shop i have a guy I already spoke to about 20 minutes down the road I'm not going to drive this, so I had to call my insurance for a tow truck. And I had to specify that it had to be flat towed. So they're going to flat tow our home, because we're full time now, on a trailer. So stay tuned and see how it goes and how much it cost. All right, quick update here. So uh, we got two people that are willing to help us. One of them requires us to get this thing towed into the shop. The other one says that they can do the whole axle repair here. We're gonna go with the axle repair here. Um, luckily, we're in a place where a lot of RVs are sold and a lot of RV part shops are around, so we got lucky with that. But yeah, this thing just came off completely. Just nothing was holding it on there. I found the pin when I was walking on the phone uh, and it's blue, which means that it was red hot but yeah we'll let you know when the guy gets here so far the coat it's gonna be probably about a thousand dollars so what do you do when terror strikes make nachos yeah yeah from the oven with our chef 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 turn around and say hi to the camera All right, this is where we stand so far. The axle's gone, uh, taken in by our mobile tech. Came in super fast, super effective. I will put his information in here because he has helped us out a ton. Axle's gone. We did have a conversation of upgrading to bigger axles on this trailer, but we decided against it since this axle is fine. But we are replacing all four hub assemblies. It looks like, well, um, well, it just they're they're not good so more to come but this is where we're at now all right so here we are this is sean the mobile tech i was talking about earlier and he is a master of his craft so the axle is already on there he took it to his shop and welded it himself and he had a blowtorch there there's his, his trailer there he brings all the stuff with him if you're ever in the tucson area you need to check him out and i'll put his information down below and then maybe later on i even get it from him and we can put it there too but yeah replace the axle you know something sometimes things happen you got to be ready for them it's just part of the full-time life so stay tuned for more all right we have the both tires on our amazing rv tech mobile tech sean has came through he's done all four hub assemblies because you know what why not we're here might as well do it the axle is brand spanking new and here we go it's it's doing real well we're going pretty good right now we're doing pretty good 
Almost done. Almost done. Sean's almost done. He's getting there. Hey camper family, I'm here with the TCG Tiny Camper Game. We were here today to fix an axle and some hubs and some brakes. Uh, they kind of got in a bind here in Tucson, Arizona. And we got it, got it back on the road and uh, here we are tonight. We're just getting finished up. We do provide services for Sierra Vista. We also provide services for Marana and Tucson. So anywhere in that reach, we can help you guys out. Uh, my number is 970-405-5461. Again, 970-405-5461. And uh, reach out if you guys need some help. We're here, my wife and I, it's a small family owned business. So take care of just about anything from ACs, furnaces, you name it, we can take care of you. So give us a call. Thank you. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Sean. If you're ever in Tucson, hit him up. But, yep. Later, later. He is an amazing individual. We will hang out with him again. And, yep, thanks for watching. We got it fixed. Look, it's done because of Sean. He killed it. We had some beers, we talked some shit, and we enjoyed his company. But, Tiny Camper Gang, out. Adios. The very next day, Sean invited us over to his property where we were able to go off-roading. And this is the only clip I was able to save from that day. But we had a blast.